Greetings and welcome to another computing related video. Today we're having another look at the eMachines eMonster 866 DVD. Basically since the last part of this video um, the computer was put into storage and I figured uh, it would uh, be overdue a, another look at it. I never got the drivers uh, for this machine so this is the same Windows 98 installation that I installed in the previous part. Uh, well, what I have since managed to find are some eMachines eMonster 800 restore disks on archive.org. So um, I burned a couple of copies here and I figured I should uh, record a conclusion to see if I can get it up and running to a factory condition. It's going to install Windows Millennium because that's what originally shipped on these 800 series as far as I can tell. And it's what is licensed on the case. And it's just a not and ghost procedure. I have tried this restore process in virtual PC and it seems to be successful. It's going to ask for the second disc about 75% of the way through. Um, and then it will do the typical Windows Millennium first run uh, and install all the device drivers on the disc, etc. Okay, so it's asking for the second disc, which I've popped in the drive. And press OK. It should just pick up. But yeah, it's uh, going along. It's now actually rocking a 40 gig hard drive. Right, it literally took two more minutes to uh, finish that last little bit off. So I'm just going to take the disc out of the tree and uh, remove the machine. Uh, Windows Me, distributed by eMachines. So it's uh, just going through the automatic driver installs for all the hardware and uh, I'll pick it up when we get back to the uh, next state. Uh, actually it did install the Reva TNT too so uh, uh, and now it's prompting to restart after doing that so I'm going to do that and hopefully that will improve the screen resolution. That's looking a little better, we've got some actual colours now. It's just uh, trying to install this Dell monitor that I'm using. I remember first installing Windows ME. Um, good times. Anyway, um, before on VirtualBox, where the drivers don't exist um, until you've installed Windows and put the extensions media in and installed the video drivers, all these buttons down the side here obscure all this text here and all the bullet lists and things to select various options, they don't actually work. Or, I say you don't actually work, you can't click on them, so it was a, a bit of trial and error to get to the Windows desktop in VirtualBox, but uh, it looks like we can go through now, we can uh, skip the mouse tutorial. Um, by the way, this is a uh, an American uh, based uh, American based Restore Media, so instead of the uh, UK FreeServe experience, it's going to be AOL, but uh, it's going to be hopefully close enough to uh, what I need. I'm just trying to find, uh, there we go, British. And it wants to restart for some reason, let's do that. I accept yes and I don't want to register yeah you couldn't click those before so it was a tab key and space bar to and guess where you were clicking um, I don't want to configure a connection and I think this should do either a final reboot or land us in the Windows desktop there we go Windows desktop Oh, 
everybody remembers these browser banners that appear on the bottom of your Windows desktop. But um, here we go, E Machines, E Monster. Bit of uh, American technical support, contact details, and in Device Manager. Yeah, that must be the onboard graphics. Um, and I don't know why we've got these here, but perhaps I need to put disk one back in and install the drivers manually. I'm back here again installing the Intel family chipset graphics driver software. Hopefully that will resolve the uh, exclamation point in device manager. Yes, it looked like the uh, Intel drivers resolved the driver, uh, missing driver for the Intel onboard graphics. I still don't know what uh, this disabled device is. Um, I guess I need to uh, fiddle about with this offline and see if I can get this working. So the problem device is um, this vendor 8086, which I think is uh, Intel device 2412. So I'm just gonna have to go um, to my main PC and give this a quick look and see what it is. So thanks to uh, Phil at Phil's Computer Lab, he's provided some chipset drivers, which uh, hopefully should install the correct drivers to get the USB devices not having a, an exclamation point on them. I'm not sure if these are the newest for uh, this machine, but um, or in fact. Well, that sucks. Um, let's try that again. Uh, I've got another earlier version from Phil's computer lab. Well, that's a bummer as well. Tell it to update the driver. Uh, well, still unknown devices. Um, let's see what happens. No, no better. Right, okay. Well, I've run out of time today to uh, try and get this working. Uh, maybe uh, in a day or two, I'll try and get to conclude this if I can do a bit more research than I'm, I'm rushing a little bit, I suppose. But uh, hopefully I can follow this up 